for November by Sean O'Brien. November is a book of subtle virtuosity. O'Brien's skilled handling of rhythm, structure, narrative and image are on full display in this latest collection, rich in evidence of a careful, elegant mind at work. In November, we approach year's end, a time of reassessment, of clear-eyed stock-taking and redirection. Look away just for a moment, then look back and see are the book's apt opening lines. This turning away and back, this existential strophe and antistrophe are like the picked through furrows of a ploughed field where O'Brien paces us with a firm hand past sights of sober reckoning. Gates, graveyards, stations, junctions, and the hazy light of more than one afternoon bar become sites of conciliation with both past and present, where every failure brings you its account for signing. Placed in these terrains of transition, peopled by the dedicatee of elegy and homage, November affirms through accumulated detail these disappearing worlds that cannot be other than real. Europeans. Now we are in Europe, let us take to selling mushrooms by the roadside. Broad-brimmed platefuls and uniform buttons plucked before dawn in the forest of birch, the dank, delicious, one-legged flesh climbing from grave pits as big and as deep as the forests themselves. For it does not take long to establish the custom not long to forget the beginning, to hold up a bucket or basket of mushrooms and talk about always and offer a shrug that proves our knowledge and our ignorance identical, proverbial, entirely beyond the scope of history or law. And since we have always been here on our fold-away chairs near the crossroads, hunched in black overcoats, pale as our produce, seeking and selling the flesh of the earth by the handful and kilo in brown paper bags. We cannot be other than real. <laughs> <laughs>